talking to concerned parents about what led up to the crash. Take in this quiet weather while it lasts. I'm tracking an unsettled pattern. Wind temperatures drop and rain returns. Bullet holes on the windows of a Wake County middle school classroom. Miraculously, no one injured, fortunately. Now, teachers, students, parents all wondering how a gun made it inside. Thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Deborah Morgan. Police say a sixth grader pulled the trigger inside the classroom. WRL's Matt Tallhelm is live outside the school after talking to a student who was there when the shot went off. Matt? <laughs> Yeah, some scary moments for sure, Deborah and Dan. That window is now removed here. You can see just the screen of it is left here from this first floor classroom. This is where police say a 12-year-old boy who brought a gun to school fired it at the window just as the day got started here. A classmate who was in the room tells me she is traumatized and terrified. And the fact that it was a kid in school, that was like... Oh, my life just like flashed before my eyes. 11 year old Tessa Dean is safe with her mom after a terrifying start to the school day at Fuquay Varina Middle School. And I get a text that says there's a kid with a gun. I'm safe, but I'm scared. Dean says she was in the hallway at her locker when a teacher started yelling. Go into your, the nearest classroom right now. Go, go, go. She ran right into the room where her sixth grade classmate with a gun had just shot through the window. I was panicking because I dropped my stuff at my seat and then I ran to the corner because I was scared. Dean describes her teacher, Linda Gilliams, ordering the boy to give her the gun and he did. She said, why the hell do you have a gun at school? She said that to the kid and the kid was just like, I don't know, I just wanted to bring it. The shooting put the school on code red lockdown. A Wake County school resource officer was already on campus as more police surrounded the school. Parents rushed to reunite with their children. It was terrifying because you wouldn't think uh, something like that could ha you know, happen. And you hear about it in the news and next thing you know, you're in the middle of the situation. And you're like, so many things are going to your mind and can you get there any quicker, you know? Uh, can I get there any quicker to be at my son's side? Wayne Brunson hurried to the school his son attends and where his wife is a teacher. I wanted to leave kids. I didn't even feel safe in the school. It's our job as parents to ensure their safety. We can't always promise it, but you know, they, they know they, they have us to fall back on. And Investigators say the threat was not targeted at any students or staff, but experiencing the fear firsthand shatters the safety of school for Dean. I won't feel safe there anymore because I've never had that happen to me. It's just so sad to hear, you know, from a sixth grader, they don't feel safe in a school here. Now, no one was hurt. That is the good news in this. The Wake County Sheriff's Office says that there is no other threat, and this appears to be an isolated incident. We are asking how this kid got the gun and what happened if he faces any consequences. We've not yet heard back on that. We are also waiting to hear back from the school system to find out if Fuquay Arena Middle School will be back open tomorrow. What a brave little girl for sharing her story. Matt Tolhelm, live in Fuqua Verita. Thank you, Matt. Ahead in our next half hour, the message doctors are taking to Capitol Hill to keep guns outside of classrooms and to try to put an end to mass shootings in America. Breaking news now at 4 o'clock.